Okay, um, so for this lesson, you're going to uh, open up your saved document back up into Photoshop where we had started. Remember the last time uh, we had worked on this, we had uh, three different layers. We had one layer that was a sky that was below um, layer one, which was our sand and desert, where we had used the magic wand tool to delete part of that image out. And we had then refined the edge to uh, uh, soften it up so it wasn't so jagged and using a layer mask to achieve that. Um, and then we had used our lasso tool from another image and we had traced around the outside edge of an image or selected it and then copied it and pasted it into um, Adobe Photoshop document, okay? So um, we're going to just uh, go over a couple of different tools. So once something is pasted in a document um, on a layer, we can highlight that layer by clicking on it. And we can use the move tool to click and move that image around, okay? Um, the other thing that we can do is we can transform uh, this a little bit by going to edit transform and we have scale, rotate, skew, distort, perspective, warp, um, flip horizontal, flip vertical, rotate a certain amount of degrees. Okay, so all of these things will transform in some way. So if I want to flip this horizontal, I can click and do that again because my move tool is selected, I can then move it around after it's flipped, place it, you know, I guess next to this little hill edge here. Um, if I want to make it a little bit bigger, I can go to edit, transform, scale and I have to remember don't drag from the sides because it will distort it. I also also want to hold the shift key down and drag from the corners and I can make this larger. Now at some point if I make it too large it's going to distort the pixels and it makes it look very blurry on and it's basically changing the resolution for that one portion of the image. So I want to make sure that um, I don't go too large when I'm expanding images on a uh, document. So I've made it a little bit larger, okay, and then I want to apply it. I can either, um, so if I go to edit, transform scale, if I've changed the scale how I want it, there's a little checkbox up here that will um, apply or commit that transformation. Um, so, so yeah, so I've got it a little bit larger. So try that. Try a couple of different things. You can transform rotate if I want to, um, you know, make it rotate a certain way and then confirm it, okay? So place your head, transform it, get it set up for the next step, okay? Uh, the next step is uh, refining the edge, just like we had done with our desert. We'll do this again. So we click on our magic wand tool and in the layer that has our face, we click in the background, selecting the entire background. Remember that's an empty transparent area. And then I go to select inverse and now I've selected the entire face okay so it's selected the opposite then I can go to select refine edge and I can play around again with the smoothness a little bit of feather get some contrast there uh, shift the edge a little bit and that has nicely softened up the edge and then I can again have a couple different options I can create a new layer and that will basically take the transfer the softened to refined edge and apply all the changes directly or I can also do a layer mask just like I did with the desert okay so in this case let's try a, a new layer so I'm going to click new layer and click OK so now you'll see layer 3 was copied and if I uh, hide everything um, you'll see that this one has the sharp edge, but this one has the softer refined edge. Okay, all right, mm, very subtle. Um, so with our, uh, we're gonna keep, we're gonna, let's keep both of them for now. Um, so <clears throat> bring back, toggle the view by clicking on the, the eyeballs, right? So you're gonna, Bring back everything. Let's just hide layer three for now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a shadow for this. Okay, so um, because we've already gotten this selected, 
Um, let's click back down on layer three. Let's use this one. So let's turn layer three back on and we're going to do the same process. We're going to select the background, select the inverse. Okay, so now we've got this head selected and what we're going to do is we're just going to edit fill so we can see what this is doing and we're going to fill with the foreground color and in this case our foreground color is black and we're going to click OK. So now if I hide this you'll see that that actually made that face entirely black. Okay, So I'm going to deselect, I'm going to select deselect or uh, command D um, and I'm going to with the layer, that dark layer now, I'm going to go to edit, transform, flip vertical, okay, and then use my move tool, and I'm going to move that down. So now you can see, I've kind of got a shadow going on here. Now there's a couple different things that we can do. Right now when the shadow is like this, it's, it's too coarse, it's too, too um, dark and sharp. Okay. So a lot of times what happens is it starts out darker near the bottom of the head and then it will, and it will slowly fade out a little bit. So to achieve this, we're going to use the magic wand again, make sure we're on that shadow layer. And I'm going to, just to have some more um, uh, variety if I want to move this later, I'm going to click on my, actually back on my move tool. It's just, let's just create the shadow right here with the head itself kind of so we can see the entire head, okay? So I'm gonna click on a magic wand tool, click on the head. Now we've selected, because it's an area of like color, which is what the magic wand does. I've selected the entire area of black, and I'm going to add a gradation. So I'm gonna click on the gradient tool, okay? And I'm going to come up, uh, actually let's double click on the gradient tool. Um, and up here at the top, you'll see uh, different types of gradations here, okay? So we're going to pick this one right here that kind of fades from dark to transparent, okay? And we're going to pick the radial blend, which is this one right here, okay? And when I click up to the top here and I drag down, oh, Oh, actually, first, sorry, hit delete. So that what we're doing is we're deleting the information from the selection, but still keeping the selection. Now when I click and drag, it's going to fill in that information, right? And if I click again and drag, it'll kind of add to it. If I keep adding, 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 obviously it's going to get too black. So delete again, and you can kind of practice to see, try to get a nice, like, smooth from dark to sort of blend it out. That looks pretty good. Let me do it one more time. So delete, drag out, a little bit wider. That's a little better. Okay, so now that I've got my um, radial fill coming from the underneath the deck and down, uh, I'm going to deselect, click on my move tool, move it over, place it underneath my head. Okay, and I'm going to do one last thing. I'm going to go to filter. I'm going to go to Blur and Gaussian Blur, okay? And what this is going to do is it's going to kind of soften the edges and blur it out so it's going to be more faded. If you don't see the actual image in here, I can zoom, click on the minus sign to zoom out and kind of, you know, so you see the whole document. And then I can move in on that area again, adding it, I can shift it around you know, so I can kind of see what the edge is going to look like, okay? Um, so if I want to soften it up or sharpen it up, I go one way. If I want to make it even softer, I go all the way the other way, but obviously too much is too much and too little is too little. So kind of kind of play around with that blur until it kind of feels like a nice little shadow under there and then click OK, okay? So now we've got our blur. So now you'll see though, that the bottom of the neck here and where the shadow meets, it's like, it's too dark. There's, it's not looking right, okay? So um, what we can do is we can apply a layer mask to 
our um, layer here and we can start to sort of fade some of this out or we can use an eraser tool and kind of erase some of that okay and that would help kind of like make it look more like it's in the sand so let's try that so we can use the eraser here. click on the eraser tool now we have different brushes we want to use kind of a soft brush rather than a hard brush so I'm going to click on the uh, brush and I'm going to pick this one right here it's a soft brush and notice when I move over you can see the size of it if I drag the size out larger it gets a little larger that's probably good and our opacity is at 100 we're gonna we're gonna soften that up too we're gonna let's make it about 50 and that'll make it so it's not like completely erasing it's sort of softly erasing and I'm just gonna kind of I'm actually even zoom in here first so we can really see what's going on click on the eraser tool and I'm just gonna softly sort of hit at the edges a little bit there and now as I'm erasing that that shadow layer is underneath it so it kind of you can kind of see what's happening as I'm erasing part of that image. Okay, so remember you're in the right image, okay, a la right layer, I should say, where you've got your head there. And I'm just kind of erasing some of that edge a little bit. It'll make it feel more. If it feels like it's not erasing enough, take the opacity and drag it up a little bit, okay, maybe to 60. And maybe it'll make it erase a little bit easier, a little bit faster, okay, kind of hitting away some of that edge a little bit softening it and making it feel a little bit more like it's ending up in the sand. Okay. All right. And that might be a little too much, so I can always step backwards. So stepping backwards right here, edit, step backwards, it's kind of like undo, but you can do more steps. Undo only allows you to step back one command. This allows you to step back more. So um, the hotkey, is command option Z so I can keep stepping back you can notice how it's getting rid of that eraser mark that I did so I'm just gonna just soften up a little bit more there good and then I'm going to take my shadow layer click on that click on the move tool just shift it a little bit good makes it feel a little bit more natural all right so we've softened that up good all right <clears throat> So that's it for this lesson, and we'll show you a couple more in a minute. All right, so make sure you save your document, file, save, and shut down.